Það var Erdos, ég hefði það byrjað hann að. Ok. Það var Erdos. Whenever you want to do. I snap it. You know what snapping? Yeah, so hold on, let me, because your, your head's not in. Do it over if we have to. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that your head is... What's the normal body fat, like 22, 20? Well, it depends on your age. 32? Uh, well, you can look up here on the... All right, let me look. Yeah, so you can find your age. 35. That's Lee. female. You want to find oh. your, your female, right? Okay. So you want to find your age, and then average is anywhere from here to here. Okay. And, and ideal is like here to here. Ideal is in the blue. So yeah, anywhere from here to here. Okay. And then when you get super lean, like around here, it gets dangerous. Yes, yeah. Definitely, you have to be careful. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let me okay. restart it. <laughs> is it on? <laughs> yeah, I think it's on. So uh, I get it. Stand. Okay, I'm here today at the Dexo Scan Place in uh, Boca Raton, Florida. I'm promoting them. I'm getting my body fat checked at the Dexo Scan to see what my body fat is. I'm very curious. I'm just very, very extremely curious. And this young, nice lady's going to test my body fat. Okay. So. Let's see. Let's see. I'm very curious about it, so I'm gonna we're gonna see if what my body fat is. Okay, Jason, I'm gonna have you remove your shoes and everything out of your pockets. Okay, everything is out of my pocket. Okay, good. Um, when's your date of birth? February twenty second, nineteen eighty five. About how tall are you? Uh, five seven. Sith Lord, but um, okay, go ahead, take your shoes off. Socks off, too. Yeah. Socks are okay, just take your shoes off. Okay, and then you're gonna lay on your back with your head towards the arm. Okay, on your back, so like, oh, watch your head. Okay, scoot down a little bit towards me. Perfect. I'm going to put this strap around your feet just to keep your legs close together during the scan. Go ahead and scoot a little bit to your left. Perfect. Keep your arms in as close as you possibly can. Keep your head straight and still. Close your eyes. You want to go from your head to your feet in about six minutes. You can breathe normally, but just stay extremely still. Thank <laughs> you. 
Error. No human being found. Error. No human being found. Error. No human being found. Remove the monkey from the table. Error. No human being found. Error. No human being you found. Relax your arms and open your eyes if you like. Just keep your legs. Error. Down. No human being found. Remove the monkey from the table. Error. No human being found. Error. No human being found. The Burger King is closed. Error. No human being found. Error. No human being found. Please contact the Dr. Bart Murray. Error. No human being found. Error. No human being found. Remove the monkey from the table. Error. No human being found. Please contact the Dr. Bart Murray. Going to sleep now. Interesting. Very quick, huh? Very. I got a lot of muscle. Yeah, you do. All right. So. Hope the thing was playing. Oh yeah, no, it was recording the whole time. Okay. So now uh, I'm gonna have you get dressed, and I'm gonna position uh, the camera so that we can go over your results, and you can ask questions. Okay. God, I got a lot of muscle. Jesus. That's <laughs> big. Yeah. The health of structure is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, camera's a little tricky. I know. I'm going to bring it down just a little so that it's not so high up in the sky when we're talking about your results. I'll edit all this out. That's good. Okay, so. It even tells you your body weight, right? Yes. So you can go ahead and just have a seat right here okay. in the chair. I'm curious to what my body fat is. All right, put all this stuff. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Okay, so I want to make sure I can get you in. Okay. So while we're talking about the... Uh, thing is so weird. It doesn't like... Yeah, it, it acts weird.
do something you gotta do. I think it's I should have the ability to tell it like from this line. I don't know how. I think it does. I think it tilts this way. There we go. There. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. So there, that's better. Yep. Let's go a little bit closer. All right, go ahead and have you see right there. So I can get you in there. All right, perfect. All right, Jason, are you ready to go over your results? Yeah. Okay. So you're about 17.2% body fat. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's really lean. Like we said before, um, it's really hard to gauge somebody on looks, as you are asking me before. Like 17 is pretty good. Yeah. No, I had you visually for about 20 to 22, so it was good there. Um, you weigh 196.7 pounds total, 33.8. Pounds of that from your head to your feet is your total fat mass. Mm -hmm. And then 156.4 pounds is your lean body mass, so your lean muscle. What's my lean muscle? 156.4. Would that be 0%? What do you mean? Would that be 0% if I was 156 totally stripped, right? Yeah. So what would I be like at 7%? What would I probably weigh at 7%? Um, if we put that on me. 3% body fat is usually equivalent to 6 pounds of fat. Okay, so what? So we, if you went 10... If you lost 10% from where you are now. What would I weigh about? What would you say? Um, 170? Probably. I mean, somewhere out in that area. About 170. It's not, yeah, it's not so much about concentrating on the weight, though. You know, you want to have a DEXA scan done to come and evaluate your body fat percentage because you can actually, you know, weigh a lot more but have less body fat. It's all about your body fat percentage. So, so if I drop some more fat by dieting and keep my control, so 170 yeah. probably be six or seven, somewhere in there. Yep. Somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere yeah, seven or eight. It's hard to tell. Somewhere yeah. under 10 though, right? Yeah. Oh, it's 170. So if you lose 7% of, you know, body fat, which is around like three or 4%, like I said, 3% body fat is around six pounds, right? Yeah. So, um, so if I lost, let's say if I lost, um, I'm 196 and I lost 26 pounds. How much, mm -hmm. how, much, how much body fat would I lose there? So, I mean, like I said, 3% is equal to 6 pounds. So you said 100 and... So you have 26 pounds. Yeah. So that would put you, just real quick, curious. 196, yeah. right? Yeah. Minus 26. Equals 170 pounds. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we said 3%. Yeah. Is equal to how many pounds? Six pounds. Right. So every six pounds of this, so let's do about four pounds. Um, we have to lose, let's see, yeah. Try to do this. 12%, right? 12%? Yeah, 12% body fat to get down to that weight that we were talking about. Is that lean? Well, yeah. I mean, that's going to put you at 5% body fat if you lose 12%. Oh, if I lose 12%, it's going to put me at 5% body fat at 170. Mm -hmm. That's lean. That's dry. Yeah, I don't think... You want to be that low. No, no, not at all. That's... So, I'm like, 175 at, like, 7. 176, somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely doable. Yeah. Um, as you can see here, the color of the red represents lean muscle. And the yellow represents fat. So you can see by region, as the DEXA maps it out, you can see you have about two pounds of fat mass in each arm. So that usually hangs out like right on the back. Mm -hmm. um, and you have about 11 pounds of lean mass in each arm. So that's a lot of lean muscle mass. Yeah. Um, and your legs. Are big. Yeah, your legs are really muscular. That's usually the biggest, you know, the power. Weakness, the power. People have weak legs. Some, sometimes, yeah, but, you know, for people who are bodybuilders who train routinely, you know, that's very important to get I don't even have to work them out a lot. I'm just blessed. They're just big. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Sometimes you got blessed legs. Exactly. Sometimes. So, if you want to do, um, it says 25 pounds of lean mass in each leg and about 5 pounds of fat. So, you can see here on the color model, it's all right on the outside, the, inner, the outer thighs and the inner mm -hmm. thighs. Mm -hmm. So, that's where you need to work on, you know, with diet and, you know, try to target those areas for fat blasting and increased muscle yeah. mass. Um, your android region, which is your abdominal region here. Kind of a lot. 
You have about two and a half pounds of fat in that area collectively here to here. That's not bad. That's not much. That's not a whole lot, no. You have about 11 and a half pounds of lean muscle in that area. That's a lot. So Yeah, that's a lot. Um, so that's good there. But if you trim that down, um, obviously your body fat percentage goes down with that. Yeah. Um, your gynoid area, which is referenced here as your hips and buttocks region, is that a lot? quite a bit of fat. You have about almost six pounds of fat there, yeah. but you have 23 pounds of lean mass in that area. So wow. you have, have a lot pressure. of muscle. You do have a lot of muscle. Do you know what visceral fat is? Visceral fat? No, explain it. Visceral fat is the fat in and around your organs and within your body. So okay. this is the bad fat. This is the bad fat that causes secondary illnesses. Like I don't type. have that much, right? No, you don't. Causes type 2 diabetes, heart attack, stroke, all of mm -hmm. that secondary disease that you don't want to get. Mm -hmm. So for men, the maximum is around 2 to 3 pounds of visceral fat. But mm -hmm. you have about a quarter of a pound With of small, visceral fat. Small. So that's, that's, that's like next to nothing. Yeah. So that's good. That means you have a pretty good diet, you know, high in protein, low in the in the starchy foods, and you know, good good fats. Yeah. So in your bone density, um, is massive. Is good. You have really positive um, T scores, which is just a rating that we give it in the medical community to grade your bone strength. So, the bone strength strong. Yeah. Your uh, your bone strength is good for a young. What do you think I get my body fat down to in eleven weeks if I keep this diet up, like eight or nine? No, I think that to get it down maybe to around 13 or 14 is a fair guess. Yeah. Yeah. Is that still lean? That's still lean, yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's very lean. So that'll put you at about 14, 13%. And as we said, if you lose 3% of your body fat. And then I'm going to compete another show, like another 12 weeks. That will put my body fat like under 10 probably, right? It just depends on what you're doing. If yeah. I keep the diet strong and everything, yeah. Yeah, you really have to, you know, be careful and tailor in your diet according to your goals. And yeah. the leaner you get, the harder it is to lose the body fat a lot of times. But that's where the diet really comes into play. Yeah. So as long as you are, if you yourself know what you're doing or have a really good coach, you'll be I okay. do. I have my coach. Yeah. So if you follow the guidance of the coach, you know, a really good coach will tell you how to do it safely and slowly. Mm -hmm. So that way you can maintain it and you don't have to do all of these th crazy things that people do to keep it off. So my lean body mass is probably at four to five is one seventy, but I want to be comfortable with that. You wouldn't, no. It, it's really hard to achieve that um, just because as you get leaner, your body fights you. To so like eight or seven that. is pretty good, pretty good for me, like a 176, 177, 78, somewhere in there. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't. I, could get I that. wouldn't base it all completely on weight. Well, if I build some muscle, I mean, one eighty to one seventy five be probably a good a yeah, good number. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's doable for sure. I wouldn't go any less than that. I think that you know. You, you I'm a short be. guy. I want to be one seventy five. I want to be the top of middle weights. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Going the top of middle weights. Yeah, but you have a really good lean body mass number there. Is this kind of accurate, or did it fall in line? With it fell accurate. Yeah, yeah. Because the other accurate, the other place I did it that was, uh, I did it at a place I got my body fat tested by a machine. It wasn't okay. that accurate. What did it say? It said I was twenty. Yeah. A little off. Yeah, those are called biorepeated scales. Yeah. They tend to be anywhere from three to eight percent off on average. Yeah. They tend to overestimate in people that are physically fit which means place you higher in the fat category. Yeah. And they tend to underestimate in people who are obese or out of shape, yeah. which is a problem. Yeah, it's a big problem. Yeah. So that can, you know, that the 3% difference there um, can make or break you when you're preparing for a show and, you know, dialing. I'm glad, diets. I'm glad I found this out. That was very important. And this video will be on YouTube in a couple weeks, fans. Check them out. Uh, Dexoscan and Boca Raton off of Glades. Check out their uh, YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? Check their YouTube channel out. They did a great job. All right, peace out. Bye.